Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given rational equation. And by the way the rational equation simply means that it contains all these algebraic fractions. Now in our very first step to solve this given rational equation we want to find the least common denominator for this equation. So look at the very first step is look at these denominators. Only focus on the coefficients. The coefficient over here is 2, the coefficient over here is 7, and the coefficient over here is simply 1. So the, the least common denominator or the least common multiple for these numbers going to be at 14. I want you to just put down 14 for just the, the coefficients. Now I want you to focus on this x variable. So the highest power over here is x power 3, here is x power 2, and here is simply x which is x power 1. So look for what is the highest power. The highest power of x is the highest degree is 3. So I want you to just put down x power 3, just simply the highest degree. So thus our least common denominator turns out to be 14x power 3. Now in our next step I want you to whatever we got our least common denominator multiply it across the board. I want to I want you to put down on the top of each term 14x power 3, 14x power 3, 14x power 3, and 14x power 3 on the top of each term. Now, the next step, what I want you to do is just look at this one, how we're going to do this one. So, 2 divides into 14 seven times, isn't it? And then this x power 3 and x power 3 is gone. So we simply got what? 7 times 5. I want you to put down 7 times this 7 and this 5. You multiply them out plus look at this one over here. 7 divides into 14 twice isn't it? And this x power 2 and x power 3, if you simplify, you just simply get simply x. So we got 2x times 2. I want you to just write down 2 times simply 2x. Minus, look at this thing over here. This x divides into x power 3. That simplifies to x power 2. Simply we got 1, this 1 times x, 14 x power 2. You see there's 14 over there, x power 2. I want you to just put down 14 x power 2 equal to 0 times anything is 0. I want you to just put down 0 right up here. Let's simplify it now. This simply becomes simply 7 times 5 is 35 plus 4x minus you just simply multiply it out this is going to be negative 14x square equals to 0. So far so good. Now if I want you to just simply multiply by negative sign across the board. If you do this thing, if you rewrite, we can write this one simply 14x square minus 4x minus 35 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation and we want to solve it for x. So for that reason, we're going to be applying quadratic formula, which is right up here. And where our a value is 14, b value, the coefficient b value is negative 4, and c value is negative 35. So let's go ahead and apply these values in this formula, in this quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm going to just go ahead and put down x equal to minus b. 
minus and b is negative 4 plus minus b square is negative 4 square minus 4 times a is 14 and c is negative 35 everything is divisible by 2 times 14 so far so good let's simplify it out so negative and negative this makes simply positive 4 positive or negative square root of negative negative 4 square is simply 16 plus negative and negative becomes positive and when you multiply 4 times 14 times 35 that's gonna give you 1960 divided by 2 times 14 is 28 so let's go ahead and simplify a little more so that's gonna give you 4 plus or minus this when you add this thing up that's gonna give you 1976 divided by 28 now I want you to just simply focus on this radical 1976 so I put down square root of 1976 over here we want to simplify it so here 1976 could be written as 4 times 494 and now we can break it down we can split it up 4 and 494 with separate radicals as you know that the square root of 4 is simply 2 times just leave this thing 494 so thus uh, this 1976 I can write at 4 plus minus 2 square root of 494 and again this the denominator 28 I'm gonna split it up like this way there's no problem whatsoever so I put down like this thing let's go ahead and just simplify this one so that could be written as 4 over 28 could be written as 1 over 7 plus or minus can you see this 2 and 28 over here they can you can write it down as 1 over 14 so I'm going to write down square root of 494 over 14 so this is equal to x so thus our if you split this one over a positive and negative sign so simply we got x equal to 1 over 7 plus square root of 494 divided by square root of 14 and the other solution is x equal to 1 over 7 minus 494 divided by 14 these are our two solutions so thus our solution set turns out to be a 1 over 7 plus square root of 494 divided by 14 first one with the plus sign and the second one with the negative sign as you can see this one thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos